Scott, it's time to get on with the uh, Saturday Night Rides. All right. Welcome, welcome back, guys. I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. We did. We did, yeah. That was it a good was, day. It was a good day. Good day. Didn't do much. Normally, we tinker with shit. And, right. We just kind of sat around and got fat. We did. <laughs> it was perfect. <laughs> and uh, Kyle went on, went on down to... Um, his parents' house and is not here, but Scott is sitting in his seat, keeping yep. it warm. Yep, that's all got, I'm good for. We got to keep it warm, Kyle. <laughs> so uh, he all sends his happy Thanksgivings, and um, he will be back next week for Saturday Night Rides. Um, we had our channel featured on Ford Truck and Yes, we did. What, what did you think of that? That was pretty cool. I got to. I, I read through most of the article uh, and uh, thought it was really cool seeing seeing the Bronco up on there. Yeah, it was um, interesting because they don't get a hold of you and be like, we're featuring your ride, they just right. do it. <laughs> right. so, and then all of a sudden you go, oh, hey, cool, it's look, there. I'm famous. So, thank you, Ford Truck Enthusiast. Um, that was a nice little write-up you guys did for us. Um, yeah, definitely getting to work on the Bronco project. Um, if you guys are tuning in and seeing this, we have other Ford projects on the channel. If you guys want to feature that, we put a 4BT Cummins in the uh, yeah, expedition. Yeah, I'm that was surprised you guys haven't. <laughs> beat like, maybe they just missed that one. Somehow. Maybe they did. If you guys want to check out that, I'm gonna go ahead and link in the Facebook page to the Ford Truck Enthusiasts, so you guys can read that article. So guys, uh, we had a winner, and if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, you guys can go check out the last Saturday Night Rides, Saturday Night Update, marked on the channel. We had a contest going on for these hats right here. Right there. Go ahead and show them, Scott. All right. And nice. You can jump up. You, you can either. Can. Yeah, just here take off. Get on up here. Yeah. So what oh, happened, nice. guys? Nice flex fit. Good they quality are. hat. Yeah. So we have one winner for the large, extra large hat. We did not have a winner for the small medium. I don't know why. I don't think anybody watched the full Saturday Night Rides to the end. Mm. Now we're doing it at the beginning. Maybe we, people don't have that small of a head. I don't know, but if you're like me, I mean, it fits me good. Yeah, I think mine's are all small medium. Well, this one's not, but. You got a big head. I do. Kyle's yeah. got a big head. There is, got sad. <laughs> <laughs> there is still a contest going on for the small medium hat, and we're just going to go ahead and continue off the last competition. Uh, so go ahead and go back and watch Saturday night, night update from last week, the end of the the end of the uh, episode. Kyle and I explain how to win this hat. Now, when you send in your answers, you got to have your name. You got to have your address and it's got to be correct because if this hat sends out and it comes, it's not, it's not my deal. It's, it's all right. you getting yep. your address correctly, guys. So if it gets lost in the mail, not on me. Proofread, proofread, proofread. Yep. So proofread. So answers, mailing address, name. Also, if you haven't sent your writing, send your writing and we'll feature on the channel. Just like tonight. Dad Baller, you are the winner of the large, extra large hat. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah. Dad Baller, congratulations. You're the winner of the hat, and uh, we're going to be featuring his ride another day. It doesn't fall in this episode, but um, I'm hoping you can send in an email of you wearing the hat so we can show everybody how it fits. If not, that's nice. cool too. That's so. good. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into rides. Uh, the first ride comes in from this. Uh, this ride comes in from no name, but it comes in the Jesus number two uh, screen name. What's up, my fellow Oregonians? I'm located over the mountain from you guys. Anyways, here is my 2006 Mega Cab with a 5.9 Cummins. Bought this truck from scam artist known as Bleepity Bleep in Portland, Oregon. Can't do that, buddy. Motor had tons of blow by that covered up by uh, covered up by a ton of additives. Come to find out, and the the used car warranty that was sold to me will not cover pre-existing conditions. So long story short, cost me eleven point five thousand for new remand engine install. Now should have a truck that hopefully outlasts me now. Yep. Sorry, bud, that I couldn't, you know, I just can't throw, you know, not knowing the story, uh, can't throw anybody under the bus, but that does suck. 
and I do not, you know, think that that's not the story, but that that, that does suck that that yeah. happened to your Dodge. I Dealerships, if you can buy private party, go to the bank, oh, get yeah, financed. Yep. But uh, here's the ride. Oh, hey, that's a good you truck. Can, you can check that out. But yeah, yeah it, it's a nice looking truck, and you should yeah, have a truck that will last for a long time. A long time, yeah. Uh, well, Scott, you want to read the next one? Sure, why not? Gotta this stay away from those Steeler ships. All right. The name what we got. This one comes from Kyle Myers. Another Kyle. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right. This is my 89 Bronco. Picked it up a couple months ago. Currently has a fuel-injected 351 with a C6, all original, other than the exhaust work the previous owner had done to it. Uh, future plans include a CARB 460 and ZF5 swap. That'd be a nice little combo. Mm -hmm. And maybe a 4-inch lift with 35s, probably a 2-3-inch, to three inch, and keep my 33s because it's my daily and kids ride in it every day. Yeah, it sucks trying to put kids into a lifted vehicle. <laughs> Hey, it can be done. Uh, this is what it currently looks like with my 3310.5s on stock wheels. Love the channel. Want to see more of your Bronco and the Fox Shops. There you go. Take a look at that guy. Yeah, nice. Nice, nice, nice. I'm not a big Brick Nose fan. They're not terrible. Though. You have one. I do. But yeah. <laughs> I was, okay, so the very first truck I drove was my dad's 1990 F-150. So I got used to that style pretty quick. Yeah, but you had to grow up with it. Right, exactly. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just I personally, I'm not a, my favorite body style. I'm more of a bull nose fan. A bull Those, nose and area noses, like the '92 '97s I think are bull nose top okay. of the three bull nose. I think does for the me. interior but, and the wiring, like in the bull nose. Well, yeah, it's really got some problems. Garbage. And the what is it? The '80 80 and '81 has the Swiss cheese frame. Yep. There are holes everywhere in exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah, but. Um, you guys can check out Scott's video on what we're talking about. He has an IDI. It's been featured on the channel before. Yep. Uh, seven three, one of the seven three projects. I've had one. Yeah. He's had one. Yep. If you guys are interested in buying Scott's yes. truck, tell him how to get a hold of you. So if you go on Craigslist, you will find my truck. Uh, it is an eighty nine F two fifty, and it's big and blue. Big and blue. Big and blue. It sticks out kind of like a sore thumb. Mm -hmm. We are in Oregon. Yep. The truck is a project. Yes, it is he a project. He dissected and threw in a 93 yep. turboed, but now it's non-turbo. Right. The guy I bought the motor from kept all the turbo stuff. You guys have seen Jerk. this. <laughs> you guys have seen the smoke. I honestly have looked at it. I think it needs the pump timing tinkered with. Right. A I bit. think the pump is still set for the it turbo. It does so. run good. Well, good oil pressure. Yep. Does need glow plugs, power steering pump. I mean, right. Needs some brake work. It does run and drive. Yep. But I've it, driven it to town and back. It is a little bit sketch. So it's a handful. And it, but it's cheap. And if you guys are looking for a seven three IDI. Yep. Standard cab pump. on bed. The body is perfect. It Granted, is the paint. It's got Alcoa yeah. aftermarket Ford wheels. Yep, yep, which They're is cool. Beautiful shape. So get a hold of this guy. Yeah, uh, get it gone. He's got too many projects. Yes, and I He's got to move on to something yes, else. Yes, the wife so, is going to kill me soon. <laughs> he's, he's got more trucks, believe it or not, than I have. So yep. how many do I have now? How many do you have? Well, with that being said, it's beer time. Oh yes, it is. So. Yeah, guys, you guys are looking for a project. Uh, this motor in that truck is not bad. It does smoke. It does need some work, but it's a look. good. It's a good solid project. Yeah, it'd make a great father son project. Make a great first high school rig with just a little bit of work. And the and plus side is yeah. you get to meet us. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so uh, let's move on to our next ride, which comes in from Scott Levine. I'm pretty sure Scott Levine has set in. Uh, sent on a ride before, but I can't remember. I know he comments a lot. He does. I, I recognize the name. Hey guys, my name's Scott Levine, and this is my 1987 Ford F-150 single cab, long box, two-wheel drive, 302 four-speed manual. I've had the truck about a year. I have done a little bit of work to it. Dual exhaust, LED light bars, water pump, intake manifold, valve cover gaskets, tail light, oil pressure and bolt gauges, brakes and stuff like that. I thought about doing a carb swap for more power, but who knows, maybe next year. Have a great day, Scott Levine. 
So he's currently EFI. Yeah. And he's, and he's thinking about going to carb for more power? I don't think that is the best I don't answer. either. Um, a I've always, good running EFI should do better than most carbs, yeah. generally. And there's also the computer tinkering you can do. Right, you can mess with them quite so, a bit, I would think. But it's your ride, like I always say. And yep, do if, what makes you happy. Exactly. But, little advice, I try to get the fuel injection uh, right. tuned yeah. in. and Because yep. uh, it's nice to go out there in the morning and not have to pump the gas. Yeah. And hit the key. And yep. Go. Clean truck, by the way. Well, with that being said, guys, uh, we're only doing three rides tonight. Thank you, Scott, for being on the channel. Yeah, no problem. And, um, like I said, happy Thanksgiving. There will be an uh, episode out tomorrow on the Bronco. It'll be our Sunday video. Uh, things are coming along nicely. It's nice. Uh, you'll find out a little secret uh, tomorrow that um, did not have to tear back into the engine, which is nice. That is nice. All right, guys, with that being said, thanks for tuning in. Give this video a big thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe if you have not already. Don't forget to turn in wherever the bell, tune that It's over there somewhere, somewhere, I think. Maybe it's down Hit there. Hit that bell for notifications, and we are going to get working back on the Bronco. Lift kit's coming up on the Bronco, and then I think once that's done, we're going to push it outside. We'll get back to that, but then we're going to get onto Kyle's truck, which is sitting right over there. Finally. Finally. <laughs> That's and uh, lots to come this winter on Central Oregon shenanigans. Good night. Good night.